coffee in the hustle and bustle of the holiday season, one delivery driver dropped off more than just gifts ahead of this Christmas. And now folks from all over have given back to him and return. Take a look. What appears as a simple holiday delivery quickly turned into a Christmas miracle full of hope, love, and joy. Meet Jess Kitchell. She and her husband, Mac, live in Roswell, Georgia, with their daughter, Charlie, and newborn, Chancy. On a day she thought a few packages were arriving, she checked her Nest door camera to find so much more. If this is the It's a Boy house, um, I hope all is going well with your newborn. I had a, a child around the same time you guys did, and I just hope everything is going good. God bless. Happy holidays. And as the driver walked away, he was unaware of the impact he'd be leaving behind. Like most parents in those first few weeks at home, it can feel so isolating. So I was blown away the fact that he would take a second to in his day to leave that message for me to see how I was doing. The search began. Kitchell was determined to find the driver and thank him for the message. Meantime, she left a token of appreciation on her doorstep in the event he returned beforehand. But with the help of social media, it didn't take long. Meet Dallin Harrell, a seasonal driver for UPS. The kind message that he left behind actually hit close to home. But for me, it was just like bringing in a new life is, is also a new experience. And now you're solely dependent for another individual. So with me being in that realm, uh, I'm a parent now, a dad. I just wanted to check on them. Kitchell was so moved by his thoughtfulness, she had to share it on social media. I mean, it blessed me, and I thought, I have to put this out there and let other people know. And I was blown away by how much it blessed everybody that got to see it. While they spoke on the phone, she had yet to meet him in person. Until five days later, when Harold was back delivering packages, this time, the Kitchells were home. And when I heard the knock at the door, I just knew it had to be him. And I picked up my son and we ran to the door, um, <laughs> told the whole family, you got to come. What's up, baby? Chancy. Hey, Miss Kitchen. What's up, Mr. Kitchen? Hi. What's up? <laughs> oh, nice Infamous. to meet you guys. Infamous. What's up, man? Hey. Hi. Good to meet you. Jessica. Yeah. After Kitchell shared the message to social media, folks from all over joined in to clear Harold's registry for his newborn, a way of giving back for his kind gesture. Yeah, man, it's completely overwhelming. And this is just on paper. I have yet to see everything be delivered and feel it even more, you know, overzealous with that joy. To just see the, how incredible the community has been and his registries, I mean, have exploded. And I just can't wait to see what his doorstep looks like next week. <laughs> and it doesn't stop there. Kitchell and Harold also find common ground somewhere else. The power in a small act of kindness. And after all, this story proves you can count on more than just Santa to deliver Christmas gifts this season. Kitchell says Harold's registry is nearly 90% sold out, and Harold tells me UPS has offered him a full time job once this holiday season comes to an end. Nicole, it doesn't get much better than that. Just the oh, story man. we need this holiday it season. It really does. It fills you up. It's one of those feel good stories, you know, no matter what you're going through, you know, you've got that feel good story, and then you can go out on your day and, and feel good. Yeah. And Nicole, you, I mean, as a mom, you know what this season is like. Yes. Being at home with your child, it can feel so isolating. It, it can, especially, you know, I had my son during the pandemic, so that was very isolating as well. So, you know, and I know a lot of mothers feel that way, especially, you know, six weeks, the, the six weeks, the eight weeks that you have to kind of wait. Um, so, you know, to all the moms out there, even the dads, you guys are doing a great job this morning. I know. I almost had a breakdown last night when my son wanted to eat granola bars for dinner. So. <laughs> and take, and take the little, paid. what was the little red cranberries that he keeps eating? He's, he's destroying my Christmas decorations as well. So, <laughs> I, I get it now. Uh, let's talk